Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports. The Jamaican women at Sports Time were 44-1 in their CG United Super 50 clash with the Leeward Islands at Connery in St. Kitts and Nevis. Shedia Nation, who is currently on the batters, is the batter at the crease has so far top scored with 21. Rashada Williams has 17 as well. Earlier, Jamaica bowled at the Leeward Islands for just 98 runs. Renice Boyce top scored with 37, while Shibane Baskar and Shanisha Hector were the only other batters to get into double figures. Vanessa Watts and Stephanie Taylor produced with the ball claiming three wickets apiece. Nisha and Waysom, Kate Wilmot and Selena White have got no wicket each. Jamaica is coming off an impressive 200-run win against defending champions Barbados, while Leeward Islands lost their opening match by 56 runs to Guyana. Agent for Kimani Arborn, Damon, Damon Priestley, has confirmed that the 26-year-old forward will be making a return to Arnett Gardens. Speaking with TVJ Sports this morning, Priestley says it wasn't a difficult decision for Arborn to go back to the junglists. No, not at all, not at all. They really take care of Kimani and value him, and Kimani love the club. Um, the financial terms just had to work out, so we just worked out those agreements. And and you know, as long as Kimani is happy and the club is happy with him, and they're giving him exposure that we need, you know, so he can continue with his career and doing well and getting the club and uh, winning a championship. Or, you know, so that's the goal, and so it was not a difficult choice at all. He also said that Arborn is quite happy with a move back home. Kimani is very excited to be back at the club and um, he should be showcasing in the first time. So very excited to have him back in the club and hopefully we can, you know, pull something off for the playoffs and for the last remaining parts of the year. Arnett Gardens are currently fifth in the Ray Neve Jamaica Premier League standings on 38 points. They will host Cavalier in a rescheduled match in the Ray Neve Jamaica Premier League. Now, no decision was taken at Tuesday's case management hearing of the appeal by Beach Soccer Jamaica against the court's ruling to not extend the injunction against the Jamaica Football Federation, GFF. As a result, the matter was adjourned to March 13 for the lawyers of a GFF to make submissions they had failed to do in response to the Beach Soccer Lawyers' submissions. The judge ordered that those submissions must be made on or before March 11. The April 23 hearing to decide who is the legitimate Beach representative remains, after which a trial date will be set. To date, Beach Soccer says they have not reached any formal communication from the JFF regarding the reason for their non-inclusion as a member. And that's it for your Midday Sports Report and concludes our news package for today. I'm Machine Masters, Zona Set 7 for Primetime News on behalf of the new sports and production teams. Have a good afternoon.